Farmers have been planting more furrow irrigated rice or row rice because of the potential water and fuel savings. But the practice has opened the door for pests such as bill bugs that weren't an economic problem before. The University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture's Nick Bateman and Chase Floyd discuss the pest in this video from the Virtual Rice and Soybean Field Day. Uh, once we moved into a lot of this row rice production over the past five or six years, you know, we're leaving that top end of the field fairly dry most of the season. It'll stay a little damp, but for the most part, it never has a standing flood on it. And that's opening the window there for bill bug to be able to move in and, and cause a lot of damage. And what we've seen, and we'll get into this data here a little bit later, but what we've seen over the past couple of years that, you know, in a, in a really bad situation like we typically have right here where these plots are at, you know, you can look with upwards of 25 to 35 bushel loss there, at least on the upper end of the field. And you know where we're going to have a flood at towards the bottom end of the field, um, typically don't see that much damage. Now, if we don't have a levee down there, there's a possibility of, of that damage going all the way across the field. I also have with me today Chase Floyd that I'm fixing to turn it over to here in a second. He's working on a lot of this bill bug. Uh, looking at looking at how they move in and out of the field, time of year they come in, when they start feeding, those sorts of things. And, and we're going to go through a lot of that here in a minute and how, how we're going to scout for them and those sorts of things. I'm Chase Floyd. I'm a PhD candidate under the advisement of Dr. Lorenz, Dr. Bateman, and Dr. Thrash. And my PhD project has been in rice billbug. Since there isn't a lot of data that exists on rice billbug, we wanted to uh, start foundationally and figure out a good monitoring system for rice billbug. So one of the main goals we wanted to do is figure out how they're migrating into the field. So we both designed flight and ground active traps for insects. Our data shows that our ground active traps tend to be the best method for collecting rice billbug. We also use different various colors to see if there was a color attractant. Um, pink seems to be the best color, but we're not 100% sure on that. We're more confident and they just like to be under something safe. Um, moving into that, if you want to start monitoring for rice billbug, the five gallon bucket is the best method, but you do need to have some sort of vegetation under, under the bucket. We see on turn rows that are bare, we don't see a lot of track collection methods, whereas on grassy turn rows, they seem to be more comfortable and not move into the rice as quickly. Um, we also did a survey over the last three years, and we've seen that our target growth stage um, is the third and fourth tiller. We also did a collection of traps based on the dates to monitor rice billbug. Typically, we see our highest influx the last week in May to the first week in June. And from then, we know from about 10 to 14 days later is when you'll go out into the field and you start seeing the damage.